open relationship. No, that's not him. true. We're really getting into it now. Welcome back to the vlog. So today's video is a little bit different than normal. You probably can tell in my voice. Feeling a little bit sick, so. <laughs> it's been bad weather and I had the cold first. I passed it on to Tyler. Yeah. And we just haven't been able to keep up with projects. So we figured it's a great chance to sit down and answer some of the questions that we get asked all the time, but we just don't have a chance to answer them, so. Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We yeah. reached out to all of you on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon everywhere that we could find you and yeah. we knocked on a few doors and said is there anything you want to know about us <laughs> and we're gonna get into it today claire bear says what claire bear love it i love it too um what's the project you're most proud of oh we've done so many amazing projects from building our outdoor shower to the water filter that oh, was yeah. a big one. That was a really, really big one. Um, the courtyard, building that movie theater in, in there. The dome, the sauna. I think mine would be just the dome deck. The yeah. engineering of that, like the design of it, it's really cool. And what's really interesting, I don't know that we've ever discussed it on camera, but when we first walked on the land, before the driveway was in, before yeah. anything, we walked to where the dome was and we said, we're going to build our house here. But unfortunately, the logistics of the site wouldn't allow for the house that we want. So it's really cool that we're still able to create such a space that we love in this yeah. space that first attracted us to want to do the land project. Sometimes I like have to take a step back and be like, <clears throat> wow, we actually built that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty nuts. cool. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. cool. Ooh, we're getting into the juicy, the juicy bits. Who top, who bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Melanie Ham said, what do you do to make money to pay for all these amazing builds? Okay, so we have a very diverse stream of incomes. We own a real estate business back in Edmonton where we have a mix of short-term and long-term rentals to provide a stable income as well as a fluctuating income. We saved all of our money and bought old, you know, run-down properties, renovated them and turned them into rental properties. So long-term rentals and short-term rentals. And there's once, a whole we're gonna do when we get our podcast going there's gonna be a oh, whole thing on how we did it because we would we worked our full time jobs we'd flip a house sell it back to ourselves yeah. pull the equity out to finance the next project and it just like rinse and repeat multiple times yeah and it's sort of like snowball but that's for the podcast I don't know when that's gonna happen <laughs> maybe maybe in the, in the spring what were we talking about <laughs> what was it <laughs> we dabble in this we dibble in that <laughs> We do bake sales at the end of the driveway every Thursday. <laughs> no, but I, I can appreciate how from the outside looking in, it may be like, how can you afford to do all of those things? But when your living costs are literally zero dollars a month, mm -hmm. it enables you to take all of the money you're earning and invest it into your dream, which is what we're doing. Underscore Frenatic says, when working on your land, how do you plan for, let's say, worst <laughs> case scenarios? Zero. Yeah. There is zero planning for if something goes wrong, we roll There's with no it. room for it. There's zero <laughs> the room plan for it. The plan is a perfect day every single day. <laughs> Everything's going right. <laughs> Nothing is going to go wrong. And as soon as one thing goes wrong, it is so chaotic, but... Hence this video right now. But there's like no we're missing pieces for the sauna, missing pieces for the dome, crap weather, and we're sick, and... Yeah, everything is out the window, but you know what? We are getting better with rolling with it. I will say that. You have no choice, but I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. We do get down. We do get frustrated. Yeah. We do have our like our spirals like anyone. It is way more difficult than I even know how to put into words. There's a choice to either stay in that spiral and stay in that like state of mind or make the most of it and laugh it off and enjoy well, like, your hot husband. Well, like, what else are you going to do? <laughs> I just find that we have a very good way of 
one of us takes the reins and runs the project for a while yeah. and then when the that person hits their like they're tired they can't do it anymore the other person is re-energized we're kind of like canadian geese and the tired ones go to the point and the we the less tired ones go to the back and they push them forward you know come on jerry <laughs> come on jerry. we gotta go to florida <laughs> next question <laughs> Sean James Cameron asked, where do you see yourselves in five years? Um, hopefully with a house. Hopefully. That would like, be a real, that would be crossed. a win. That would be a win. <laughs> a dome would be great. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, anything that's renovation or getting our hands dirty, it's what we want to continue doing. Well, we started eight or nine years ago yeah. with renovations and have always been in a renovation state except for the six months when we were traveling pre-COVID. Sometimes we're like hesitant on YouTube to like say well, something because we don't want to be like committed to it. Yeah. But our like dream dream is to one day like build like a campground or like renovate a old hotel and like create like really unique stays that all of you can be a part of. That is a dream and we'll get there one day and we'll bring you along. <laughs> Living in the wilderness as you do, are you ever worried about inadvertently running into any dangerous wildlife like bears? I feel like they should be worried about inadvertently running into <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, I think so too. Honestly, <laughs> I'll be like, did you not see the trespassing sign? I will ask you to leave immediately. Sir, we have a gate. <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> of the so list of things that we have <laughs> as like critical problems, Problems, that is so far it down. is way down there like yeah if we get to that part of the <laughs> list I am gonna call that a win yeah <laughs> let's let's settle water and electricity first <laughs> Phil Powell Smith said you have done so much work this year will you rest during the winter or keep working the land we are going to change things up. I don't know that rest is necessarily what's going to happen, but we're yeah. going to be changing our efforts in different um, things that have unfortunately been backburnered for so long. We've been really busy renovating, or not, I guess, renovating. We've building. been renovating the forest <laughs> to <laughs> a gay delight. <laughs> <laughs> We've been busy. Let's just say that for the last year and a half. and. We thought we would be further along than what we are right now, but everything that we dealt with Charlie this summer. Hey, buddy. Do you want to come gone. say hey to the vlog? No, Charlie? I'm going to bed, guys. Good no, night. No, good for me, guys. So, just everything we dealt with Charlie's Lyme disease, it did take a toll on our mental health. Like, we'd be lying if it didn't. It was exhausting behind the scenes. Like, normally, yeah. we have more mental capacity. We just didn't have that. And things just, unfortunately, like, snowballed out of control and we just felt like we lost grasp yeah. of things but we're back on track we've got the reins and watch out Santa because there's <laughs> someone else flying through the sky this holiday season <laughs> um that's a very long-winded answer I don't know if all of our answers can be that long-winded I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be Wanderlust Attic said do you have a wedding video you could share I wish we could yeah we got married and um, we paid for our wedding ourselves and we didn't have the money to hire a videographer yeah. so we I went... really wish that we could have I kind of have this like dream that maybe for our like 10th wedding anniversary like it's only in like two years which is crazy but I think it would be cool if we did like a vow renewal and we had a we video at the land Oh, that would be cool. Ready. Oh my god, we were talking. That would we be really cool. We were talking. We are doing this plans summer, right now. That this would be cool. summer, we were talking about how beautiful it would be. We just wish that someone we knew was like engaged and gonna get married because we want them to get married in the courtyard. Yeah. We can renew our vows with the green, there. With the greenhouse yeah. in the background. We rescind the offer to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one will get married at the land except <laughs> us. No, um, we. Yeah, we didn't have the money, is the mm -hmm. reality. We wish that we did. The videos are up here. Yeah. Yeah. 5886Tom says, Assumption, you guys never take a vacation, always working on something. <laughs> That's a pretty fair assumption. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this whole journey started from us moving into an RV and traveling full time, just because we wanted to explore and... and you know, have an endless vacation sort of thing. It's kind of hard to also stop with the land and take time away. That's something we struggle with yeah. because it's 
like you see the project in today's video or Sunday's video but there's so many moving parts on the next project that are also already in the works behind the scenes that it's very it's a very hard project to, to just, just leave. pause. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a very fair assumption. Yeah, it is. Jason Van Dyke asked, "Sorry to hear you're not feeling that great. Get better soon. Thanks, Jason." We were wondering what the minimum technology you intend to have for the dome in the winter will be. You'll have heat and insulation, but if you can't get the rest, like water and electricity done, are you good cutting a few corners to stay comfy and happy? Do you have a minimalist backup plan? Well, Jason. <laughs> um, <laughs> that that's, changes on the day. Yeah, that's been causing us a lot of stress. We thought we would be further ahead than what we are, but life gets in the way. We've gotten this far by figuring one problem out at a time and I think that that's the method that works best for us and we just one problem at a time. Stay tuned Jason. Zachary Wetzel said what do y'all do to keep your relationship so healthy? Um, I know this one. This is easy. What? Communication. Well I was gonna say that but like it's not like cookie cutter is what I was gonna say. Like, what Tyler needs for support today is not what he might need next month. Mm, and yeah, I guess true. your communication ties into that. So it's adaptable in what you need to be able to give and receive from that other person. Um, I mean, but, every relationship is different. This, yeah. I kinda hate answering these types of questions because like, we've been together for what, like 13 years? Probably, yeah. yeah a long time, married long, for eight long years? Long time. I don't know, for us it's communication. Like mm -hmm. if Todd is like dancing around a thing, we had a full thing earlier today. Like yeah, full you're not tiff. full tiff. Like you need to tell me how you're feeling and then like we can deal with it. Yeah. And that's how you have to deal with it. Mm hmm Anyway. That's... But then you also have to be receptive to how I'm feeling. Yeah, well and that's be another able to thing. Deal with okay, it. next question. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Vander Wingard said, this question is for Tyler. Todd interrupts you a lot of times when telling us something. I get the urge to smack him now and then. Do you get the same now and then? Stay safe. Thanks, Peter. To be fair, well, I was just about to cut you off there. We cut each other off all the time. That's just how we interact. I was just about to say, he cuts me off, but yeah. he does the editing, so it's not in the video, obviously. No, he I- He looks like the saint walking no, around, letting no, me no. speak. No, no, no. I also enjoy when Tyler cuts me off, um, because it shows that even without me finishing that sentence, he understands what it is I'm saying and where I'm coming yeah. from, so it just sort of reaffirms that the mission is mutual. Yeah. Yeah. Love you, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Cherie Karstensen said, I am blown away by how the two of you can tackle any project that arises. Did you grow up around construction? If not, how did you learn? We didn't. Well, like, Zero experience. Yeah. Our, our Both of our families, when we first um, bought our first house and renovated it, they could not believe that we were laying flooring, that we were painting, that we were doing baseboards. Like, everyone was blown away because... I think sometimes they still are. Yeah, I think so too. And I never thought that we would do that, me especially. Mm -hmm. Todd's... I, I mean, you guys to, know. I like to tinker. I always have. Like, you learn one skill, thanks to YouTube. I installed a toilet, now I can change the dishwasher. Your confidence builds. Like, the yeah. more that you do, like, the things that we're doing now, even a year ago, if you had told me that we were doing that, I never would have believed you. Our first toilet took three goes, and our first dishwasher install took four. So, and now we're building a dome in the middle of the woods. It's just, one thing leads to the next. Yeah. One problem at a time. And we get there. We're getting into the juicy stuff now. Would you do an OnlyFans? Um, if we had a really expensive project, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, in all seriousness, it's just not something that we would ever do. And it's no disrespect to anyone who, you know, is subscribed to OnlyFans or creates Produces OnlyFans it, yeah. content. It's just not something that we have an interest in doing because we're so busy with other projects and it's just one yeah. more thing to film yeah we film enough <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> d fuem said what's your favorite vegan recipe you make that's hard i uh, actually no what's yours curry caddy caddy do you love a caddy it's yeah yeah like i would a go with good that. hearty with coconut, coconut curry oh, oh yeah coconut curry <laughs> ACM7223 said, I noticed that the door for the dome is completely see-through. Will you guys be covering it up? No. No. It's in the middle of the woods. Why do we need to? Yeah, like, 
there's just no we the have squirrels the, are allowed to look in. Yeah, they can see whatever they want to <laughs> see. We have the complete privacy, so there's just no need. Mim and Desi said, "Do you ever miss your old life in the city?" Mm, no, I would say for the most, I would say 98% no. Sometimes the amenities, like if we're really craving, like some sort skip of skip the dishes. Yeah, we don't have skip the dishes. In I the don't woods. think a lot of people know what that is, but like it's like Uber Eats. Yeah, but yeah. like there's people that watch this all over the world. Delivery. Delivery. Anything you want delivered from your phone. Yeah. San V's 59 asks, you're gonna live in the RV again this winter? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can move into the dome, but if we're not able to get it done exactly the way that we want it, we're not gonna beat ourselves up either. It's just not something we're willing to compromise on. This has been our dream for so long. And my parents are going to visit my brother in Ontario for a couple weeks this year, so we're gonna move into their house. We call it the Airbnb, and every time they go away, we check in. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be minus seven tomorrow, so hopefully Tim and Sue can get out of here <laughs> sooner rather than later. <laughs> Trish Page 312 said, have either of you ever done drag? <laughs> there was that one time. Please welcome to the stage, Miss Canada. <laughs> Eliza Wenzel said, are you guys going to get a dome to grow food in? Yes, we are. So we are, this is the thing we're like the most excited for. We are going to be building a growing dome in the spring and it's going to be big enough that it's going to supply all the food that we need. Plus we're going to set up like a little workspace so that we can like hang out like a table and stuff in the winter and have an outdoors space when it's like minus 10 outside. It's gonna be, yeah. Yeah, we're really excited for we're it. We're excited. Score 35 says, you make a lot of money. I have a sort of an issue with this type of question, more so because it's now a thing where people are creating videos, analyzing how much we make and what our net worth is. I think it's not really fair for people to like make assumptions. A lot of people say like trust fund kids. We worked as bartenders and servers through university. We used to collect garbage on heavy trash pickup days and from apartments when people were moving out, we'd get it, we'd resell it. Buy old textbooks from students and resell them for more on Amazon. Our, that was a business we started. Yeah. Basically, Todd and I, yeah, we, we do okay and we're, we're happy we're with happy and we're proud of ourselves for all the hard work and I just sort of don't like the narrative sometimes that we need to feel like ashamed or that we're like silver spoon trust fund kids because that is not the case we've worked for everything that we have and we're proud of that yeah yeah Rimaru asks fights bigger disagreements do you cut them out of the vlogs um, we actually don't have big fights though. Yeah. Like I find we, we sometimes kinda, things bubble over, but it's not. We kind of deal with things right as it's bothering us instead of like yeah. letting it side burner. Like if he's annoying me today, I'm going to let Tyler know he's annoying me today and not mm, bring it up. You're not, no, I don't, I completely disagree with that. Well, we'll discuss this in three weeks. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> you're not as um, direct as I am. I have to like, what's wrong, what's wrong, like a million times and then we- But I'm just a happy person, nothing's ever wrong. It's not my fault, I'm perfect. <laughs> Lynn's page 14 asks, how has it been RVing as a gay couple? My wife and I are worried to start. There's nothing bad that I have to say. We stayed in one park, an RV park in Texas that we had one homophobic interaction, but that's it. And like, we've stayed in a lot of places in a lot of different I think so. it's better to stay in national, state, provincial yeah. parks. I find that those type of environments tend to attract someone that it's a different mindset. There's great people everywhere. There's bad people everywhere. It's sort of how you respond. And yeah, like you just get out there. Like it's, it's, it's worth it. It is. It really is. It really is. Yeah. Open relationship. We're really getting into it now. I mean, float your boat, whatever you need. Yeah, no judgment here, but for us, I don't know, I... I also... My rocks are great <laughs> where they are. I also don't have time for anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. We've got enough on our plate. Yeah, I got so. enough projects. I don't need anything else. So. Yeah. Noble Man Morgan asks, has the foundation been laid for the cabin? How long are you expecting construction to take? Well, 
that is in the process right now. So the whole level has been air. The whole area. The has whole been area has been leveled. <laughs> I was like, that's not right. The whole area has been leveled, and the foundation is hopefully going in next week. More on that soon. Yeah. We get asked variations of this question all the time. Given that you are so eco-friendly, how are you managing all the smoke from wood burning? Can I take this? Sure. Okay. Trees, believe it or not, is a renewable resource. When you cut down a tree and burn it and you plant a new one, a tree replaces it. I think it's also important to understand that choosing to live a sustainable or eco-friendly, however you choose to phrase it, lifestyle, there are... There's sacrifices and you're literally always balancing the pros and cons of everything. Yeah. So we chose to open up a section of the forest to install solar panels. Sure, people can say that's not eco-friendly because we've removed the trees, but you could also say that it's not eco-friendly to do solar because of the mining that's involved in the monocrystalline panels. So there's pros and cons that we're balancing. We cut that forest open to have the trees for future years worth of firewood to provide us with a lifetime of renewable electricity without touching the grid. And here in Nova Scotia, I would say it's a dirty grid because 50% yeah, of that. the power is generated by coal, which is a system that we 100% do not believe in. And, and the important part about that as well is coal is a finite, non-renewable resource mm -hmm. where trees are renewable. North America did a really good job of stopping forest fires and suppressing that Smokey the Bear image. Did somebody say Smokey Bear? Yeah! But now we're seeing the pendulum swing and because we've protected our forest so much, they're actually at increased risk of forest fires because there's so much overgrowth as well as dead growth on the bottom. So what we do is we selectively remove the weak trees and allow the big healthy trees to continue to grow and thrive. Exactly. And we clear up some of that brush that's sitting on the bottom of the forest to allow the small vegetation that is also important to a proper forest ecosystem to thrive. It's hard when yeah. people see a snippet, a 30, 40 second clip in a video once a week yeah. and they think that they're able to understand the complexity of the decisions that we're making. Especially if you're watching this from another country. like Or an e urban environment. Yeah, every everywhere is different. So yeah, we're doing what works best for us. So, yeah. DL Hug asks, who cries the most? Me, 100%. Yeah, he's a little softy. Yeah, but I will say, if Todd ends up crying, it's like the full meltdown, oh, Chernobyl. Yeah. And it goes on for a long time. <laughs> Category 5 hurricane. There's different stages. There's the like, holding it back, and then we end up in the like, I can't oh, breathe, I'm gonna this, die. This, this I'm crying. one, he bites, he bites his nail, and he's like, no, I'm not gonna cry. Anyway, moving on. It, yeah. Um, yeah. Easy answer. <laughs> it's Glenn Morton asked, Who's in charge? I would say me. It depends on what no. it is. Yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> no, so. it's me. Nobody's in charge. We are just like a great team. No, but when push comes to shove, my say goes. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Kevin Richards said, love your videos. Any recommendations on those interested in starting an Airbnb business? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah. No, actually do it. Yeah. It is, it, it's a really fun experience. It's so much work though. Yeah. It's, it's hard because it's worth it and I'm glad that we did it. I don't know that I would do it again, but I'm glad we did it. Yeah, I'm very glad we did it. It's very hands-on, much more hands-on than I ever thought it would be. Long-term rentals are different yeah. where every so many years or months you're going to have to do work to get someone in there, but you have to do a lot of work constantly with the Airbnb. So yeah, just you need to be on top of it is the is the biggest tip, I guess. Yeah. Jennifer Roy asks, what do you believe is the biggest mistake you've made in the build thus far and what has been your best choice? I don't think we have any mis... Oh, actually, I yeah, I have one mistake. I wish we had have done the conduit and the water lines. That's my biggest... <laughs> yeah, before we did the road and then we had to dig it up. We had it down to the dome. Yeah. But we didn't know what we didn't know. So it's easy to say that looking back, but like we did our best. Yeah. So and that's like, all anyone can ask. Yeah. Oh, and then the best thing that we did 
building the dome. Hello. Like, it's so beautiful. It is. Mine would be, I love the um, vegetable garden with that oh, fence yeah. around it. That area Stunning. is so tranquil and just calm. There's nothing quite like picking your vegetables on like a hot summer day and like, mm -hmm. love it. I miss it. I miss it too. Summer, come back! Natasha MC3 and so many more of you asked, is Charlie fully recovered? He is doing a lot better than he was. However, this is gonna be a part of Charlie's life for the rest of the time that he has left. And we're just making the most of all the time he has. Like yeah. every day that he's still here is just like such a blessing. Diane De Palma asked, hope you're feeling better after the building is done. Will you go back to traveling in the RV? If yes, where do you wanna go? By far, this was the most asked question. Are we going back to RV life? What's the story? RVing will always be a part of our life in some capacity. It's kind of nice that we've built so many memories in this yeah. RV because like we're able to take those with us. So home or a component of home is always with us no matter where it's parked. Yeah, this, this sort of a lifestyle is why we set out on the road in the first place and why we left our jobs. And why we're building off grid because yeah. if we choose to go RVing for an extended period of time, we're not paying those distribution and connection fees yeah. to a utility service. We can just shut the system off or yeah. let the system run on minimal. Like it just does its thing and we don't have bills. Yes. I think that's the fun of it. It yeah. just allows you to do go where you want. And not just RVing also, like we have dreams of one day maybe going sailing and yeah. doing... Maybe we'll buy a blimp and just live in a blimp. We'll be the blimp boys. <laughs> See you <ya> Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> well, in an effort of not making this vlog a four hour video. <laughs> Which would have been easy because we had a lot of questions and we yeah. did a lot of rambling. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of rambling. We are gonna end this video off here. If there was a question that we didn't answer that you think that we should have, Make sure you put it in the comments down below and give a big thumbs up for Mr. Charles. Hey, finally big waking guy. up from his nap. Oh, big guy. Anyway, we will see you next Sunday when fingers crossed we're feeling better, the weather's feeling better, and we're back to work at the land. Bye. See you Sunday. <laughs>